Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and welcome to episode 4 of my Recycler Android tutorial. My Recycler View Android tutorial. So let's go ahead and move on. Where we left off, we left off on the view holder. So this should be completed. So let's go on and uh, define our list items and the getter and setter methods. Click on your folder. Uh, right click. New Java class. We're going to call that list items. Okay. What are we going to do here? We're not going to extend anything. Let's go ahead and define our variables. Private. Private string title. Private string thumbnail? No. Yes. We want the thumbnail because it's going to come in as a uh, URL string. Private string thumbnail. Private string URL. Uh, capital S. Private string subreddit <clears throat> and private string author. Awesome. Uh, now we're going to repeat the same two methods over and over for all these variables. So we have to get these variables and we have to set these variables. So we have to get them and then set them. I think I just said the same thing twice, but it's late. We gotta get this cracking, we gotta get this finished. So let's make this app. And Red Bull is awesome. It's super awesome. Public stream get title. That's the name of the method. Um, curly braces. Return title. close awesome public uh, public void set title um, we're gonna have to add a parameter it's gonna be string title it's not the same one as the one up there uh, curly braces uh, this dot title equals title semicolon and that's it for those two methods the thing is that we just have to now repeat them for variable after variable <coughs> so we'll, we'll be doing the same thing over and over uh, let's just public string thumbnail no get thumbnail um, yeah they already know what I'm what I wanted to um, string thumbnail no, there's no string there. This is a git. Um, return the thumbnail. Gotcha. Semicolon. Get out of that. Public void set thumbnail. Uh, we want that string thumbnail in there. Yeah. Thumbnail. Uh, curly braces. Ah. Yada yada. This dot thumbnail. Equals thumbnail. What's the next one? Uh, URL. I should just copy and paste it, but let's just uh, power through it, I guess. Um, they're all public, right? Let's run public. Public. Public string URL. No, get URL. Yeah, get URL. Um, parentheses, curly braces. Do I have to insert? I click insert. Return URL. Public string. No, public void. Public void set URL. Parameter is a string. We call that URL. And we'll, and these are these methods are usually standard if we if you're pulling JSON data from anything and if you're going to populate a list view or any type of view these methods are very standard um, I've seen them very very many times dot URL equals URL so if you don't get them right now if you don't understand them just understand they're there you use them 
And um, if you ever pull from another list, you'll probably just uh, take the same code. You know? Public string. What's the uh, next one we're doing? Subreddit. String subreddit. Did I spell it right? No, get subreddit, yeah. Um, parentheses, curly braces. Return subreddit. Mother of me. Uh, public void set subreddit. Parentheses string subreddit. Uh, curly braces. This dot subreddit <coughs> equals subreddit. There's one more, right? Is it author? They have to do author. Public void. No. Let's do the string one again. Um, public string get author. So we'll be getting that author from the JSON. Uh, parentheses, curly braces. Return author. Public void set author. Parentheses string author. No, author. Curly braces. This dot author equals author. Awesome. That should be it for that script, and um, that is very cool. Let me look real quick if we're going to do anything else right now. Um, let's just keep it at that, and next video, we'll jump into the adapter. So, we'll see you in the next video.